to many Muslims, they tell me that when we speak to the non-Muslims, they tell us that first go and improve your Muslims. First go and improve your Muslims. See what they're doing, then come and speak to us. So because the Muslims ourselves are not good, they aren't pious, that's the reason we can't do dawah to the non-Muslims. Today, there are hundreds of thousands of Christian missionaries throughout the world. I ask the question. I ask my Muslim brothers, that do you know these Christian missionaries? You know they have alcohol? Yes, I know. Do you have alcohol? He said, no. Who's better, you or he? I'm better. I ask the Muslims. Do these Christians, these Christian missionaries, many of them have drugs. Do you have drugs? He said, no. Who is better, he or you? I am better. Do many of these Christians, they do fornication, they do adultery. Do you do fornication? He said, no. Who is better, him or you? I. With all the defects, these Christian missionaries, with so many defects, yet they are spreading the word of Christianity. Hundreds of them, thousands of them, hundreds and thousands of them. They leave the country and they travel thousands of miles to spread the word of the Bible. Don't give excuse that first go and tell your Muslim brothers. And there are many Muslims who come and tell me, Brother Zakir, first, we will make the Muslim practicing Muslims, then we will make the Muslim First, we will make the Muslims practicing Muslims, and after we make all the Muslims practicing Muslims, then we will go and convey the message to the non-Muslims. I tell them, this time will never come. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he himself could not convince his own relative, Jew thing, a brother than the Prophet. Our Prophet, he could not convince his own uncle, Jew thing, a brother than the Prophet. It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, in the Book of Salah, poem number one, that the Prophet says that in Medina, there were Muslims who did not come to the mosque for the compulsory Salah. Talking about Juma Salah. The Prophet says, he felt like burning their homes. That means in Medina. There were Muslims who were not good practicing Muslims. Yet the Prophet, he sent messengers, he sent messages to the king of Yemen, to the king of Persia. He sent messages to the king of Byzantine. He did not say, first I'll make all the Muslims 100% practicing Muslims, and then I'll convey the message to the non-Muslims. You have to do both simultaneously. When you meet a Muslim, fine, do Islam with him. When you meet a non-Muslim, do Dawah to him. Both are equally important, Dawah and Islam. But if no, 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 which is more important? Both are important. No, which is more important? I asked him the question. Suppose a patient of heart attack comes to a doctor, stroke. And a patient of common gold comes. And the doctor has limited time. Who should he treat? A person with heart attack or a person with common gold? Who? Heart attack. I'm talking common cold, not swine flu. Huh? <laughs> Even if swine flu comes, heart attack is more important. Swine flu, it is a media. Media hypo. That's another question we won't deal with now. So the person is a mushrik. He's doing shirk. If you don't convey the message, he will go to hell. The Muslim Islam is important, but more important is dawah. Actually, both are important. If the doctor has time, you should treat both. The person with heart attack also with common cold. So when you meet a Muslim to Isla, when you meet a non-Muslim to Dawa, both are equally important. Do both. You can't say, I'll first make all the Muslim pakka Muslim and then do Dawa. That time will never come. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Hajjatul Vida, in the last Qutbah he gave, in the last pilgrimage, there were about 110,000 Sahabas. He asked them, that did I deliver the message to you? And all of them said, Bay shak, there bore witness that yes, you have delivered the message to us. Then the Prophet said, all those who are present here, go and deliver the message to those who are not present here. And do you know, out of this, out of 110,000 Sahabas, more than 90,000 Sahabas are buried outside Arabia, doing what? Making Musliman pakka Musliman, making a Muslim more pious Muslim. They were buried outside Arabia, doing da'wah to the non-Muslims. More than 80% of the Sahabas, they went outside following the commandment of the Prophet, doing da'wah to the non-Muslims.